This is a level two math start book by Stuart J. Murphy, focusing on the math concept of perimeter, racing around. Racing around. Annual five kilometer bike race. Medals awarded to everyone who finishes. I've already done the race twice, bragged Justin. It's on perimeter path. That's all the way around the park. When I finish this year, I'll have three medals. Well, I'm going to do it this year, said Marissa. I've already done a 10 mile race and this is a little shorter. I wanna try two, said their little brother, Mike. Even Bingo looked like he wanted to race. You'll never make it, said Justin with a laugh. You better wait a few years, Marissa added. No way, Mike said, I can do it. Yesterday, I rode my bike all the way around the athletic field. I bet that's almost as long as the race. Oh yeah, said Justin. Remember that odometer I got for my birthday? It measures distance exactly. I'll check and see how far you went. Justin started at the corner of the athletic field and rode all the way down one side. The odometer read one kilometer. Then he rode down the next side. The odometer read three. That meant the second side was two kilometers long. The third side was one kilometer. Again, the odometer was at four. And the final side was two kilometers. I went all the way around, and the perimeter of the field is only six kilometers, Justin said. That's not even half of 15, said Marissa. He rode this way, and here, here, and here distance of six kilometers. But Mike didn't give up. The next day when Justin and Marissa were out, he got his dad to sign the permission form. I'm going to ride in the race, he announced when his brother and sister came home. Today, I rode all the way around the zoo. I bet that's pretty close to 15 kilometers. No way, said Marissa. I'll check it tomorrow, said Justin. Here's the zoo. Notice it's a five-sided shape. One, two, three, four, five. Do you remember what shape that is? One with five sides is called a pentagon. The next morning, Justin rode his bike to the zoo. He set his odometer to zero. When he got to the monkey house, it read two. Went from here to here. Then it was one kilometer to the seal pool. The odometer read three. From here 
to here. The lion habitat was one kilometer away. Now he'd gone four kilometers in all. After two more kilometers, Justin was at the bird cage. That made six. Then one more long side and he was back at the entrance. Marissa, Mike, and Bingo were waiting. How far was it? Mike shouted. Just nine kilometers, Justin answered. That's still a long way from 15, Marissa said. Finally, the day of the race arrived. Justin, Marissa, and Mike were at the starting line. You wait right here for us, Mike, said Marissa. But while Justin and Marissa went to get in line, Mike hurried back to the sign-up table. He gave the lady his permission form. This is a long race, she said. Are you sure you can make it? all the way around? Yes, said Mike, I'm sure. Mike stayed at the back of the line. Justin and Marissa never saw him. Wait right here for me, Bingo, said Mike. Racers, on your marks shouted a man with a megaphone. Get set! Go! All the bikers took off. Mike followed the crowd along the first stretch. This is easy, he yelled. Then he started up a small hill he pumped hard and soon he was at the top. Mike coasted down the hill. At the bottom was a sign. Okay, shouted Mike, I can do this. But when he turned a corner, there was a long steep hill. He started up and up and up. I'm never going to get to the top, he thought. There were only a few other racers in sight. Mike was the last. Finally, Mike made it up the hill. He had to stop and rest for a few minutes, but he didn't give up. The road lay straight in front of him. Mike started pedaling as hard as he could. Ahead, he saw a sign that read 12 kilometers. Almost there, Mike panted. But then his bike hit a rock. Mike bumped and bounced and fell. Mike was tired, he was hot, he was sweaty, and he'd banged his knee. He didn't want to race anymore. They were right, he thought. I can't make it all the way around. Just then, Mike heard something in the distance. It sounded like a dog barking. It was Bingo. Bingo raced up and gave Mike a great big lick. Mike laughed. Bingo, did you come to find me? He asked. 
I guess I'd better finish the race after all. Mike got back on his bike. Justin and Marissa had made it back to the finish line. Now where's Mike? Marissa asked. He was supposed to wait here for us. And where's Bingo? Justin added. Then they heard the man with the megaphone make an announcement. Let's hear it for our last rider, folks. He's just coming around the bend of Perimeter Path. Justin and Marissa ran back to the finish line just in time to see Bingo come panting across it. And right beside him was Mike. Way to go, little brother, Justin yelled. Mike stopped his bike and hopped off. I told you, he said. I knew I could make it all the way around. Let's look at his path. It started here. Come this way. Here we got to go down and along through here, here, and then back up. He rode all the way around the perimeter of the path. 